Hey Andy, Kevin here with Old Town Marine. I'm gonna to try to talk fast through this video so I can get it on in about a minute or so to show what all got done today. So first off, we'll start with the first thing I checked out here. So I can send you another video of where this is leaking at, but there was just like a small drip coming off of the pump right here. Um, I tightened up the alternator belt and I have the part number to get three more of those for you like you asked. And then with your inverter, you can tell this one's longer than your old one. If you want to, we can just leave it like this. You know, we can put some screws in right there um, if you don't mind it right here. If you want it under the shelf like you had it before, I was thinking we could use the bolt holes that you already have here and then just make like a like a hanging shelf off of these bolt holes. So just starboard, some kind of wood, whatever. Hang it right there and then slide your inverter on in from there as well. Uh, just another option. The, this one just doesn't line up perfect with your holes that you already have up here. And then your chart plotter, last but not least, this guy's in. Took a little bit longer than expected. They don't leave a lot of trim around these guys, so it's like you have to make a perfect cut whenever you're cutting into this uh, so it mounts right up and then you have enough wood there around it to uh, still be able to screw into. So this guy's up and running, everything's working out, except there is no transducer or depth shown here. So if you recall, you have these kind of older depth gauges. This is the back side of them. We can get those to talk to this. It's just gonna take maybe another part and some wiring to get that hooked up there. So if you want that going with depth also, uh, just let us know and that's something we can get done. So I just wanted to show you all that and uh, feel free to call or text if you got any questions. So thanks, have a good weekend.